You're talking about digitalization, about automation, and how will the port workers and the people live this automation that's coming into the port industry? I think it's very important that that uh, this digitalization, like with any other development, that and we heard it also this morning in the conference, that it's together with the workers, together with the the, the community, the port community, so that everyone sees that, that 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 there is a culture change and that everyone is following this culture change, and it's maybe not about less or uh, less workers and so on, but it's about adapting the world the. The, the culture of work. It will not be an easy exercise, but it's also, for instance, look at, at safety. Uh, it can also enhance the safety by having more sensors uh, where you, for instance, in the port, where, what you cannot check at the moment, you can have more sensors checking that and, in fact, also enhance the safety of the, of the workers in the port. That's a, and a very important theme that you just took up, the safety of port workers. It's one of the main themes that are discussed on a European level all the time. So you do believe that automation will make this better for port life and port work. Yeah, but just for you to be very much to, to, to explain, because we are representing port authorities, port managing bodies. We are not representing the terminals. Uh, the safety at the terminals is in the first place some, something for the terminal operators, uh, the cargo handlers and so on. But this being said, um, ports and port managing bodies are, are mission driven and really also want what happens in their area that is happening safe and in the best conditions. One last question. It's the first time that this conference is held in Italy over the last 25 years that ESPO has actually been founded. And um, how do you feel for the first time in this country, which is actually one of the founders of ESPO? Um, I think, and you can see it at all the guests that are here, they are very happy to be here. Um, Italy has always been very, as you said, a founder of ESPO, one of the founders of ESPO, but also always very active in the work of ESPO. So it's very good that we can have now the conference here in La Bella Italia. I think it's very nice to have it here. Thank you very much.